Pennsylvania is all around us, and we want to help you to explore our state. Hi, I'm Beth Erickson, museum educator at the State Museum of Pennsylvania. Join me today as we explore the state symbols of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is home to many fish. If you had to pick a favorite fish to represent the state, what would you choose? Bluegill? Pumpkin seed? Slimy sculpin? That one sounds slippery. Well, the decision on which fish to select to represent the state of Pennsylvania was not easily agreed upon. Some members of the General Assembly wanted the smallmouth bass, while others wanted the brook trout. Finally, after much debate on March 9, 1970, the brook trout was named the official state fish of Pennsylvania. Declared by the legislature as one of the most beautiful and widely distributed members of the salmon family in Pennsylvania. A few other states also claim the brook trout as their official state fish. Brook trout are the only stream trout native to Pennsylvania waters and are considered a recreationally and culturally important species to the state. A member of the char subgroup of the salmon family, brook trout have an absence of teeth in the roof of the mouth, light colored spots on a dark colored body, and smaller scales. Known by local names such as brookie or speckled trout, brook trout are crepuscular active mostly at dusk and dawn. The word fountainalis in the brook trout's Latin name means living in springs, and brook trout do just that. Brook trout thrive in cold water and cannot tolerate temperatures over 65 degrees. They also require exceptionally clean water to survive. Large numbers of brook trout living in a stream can be an indicator of a healthy environment with high oxygen levels, a balanced food chain, and no pollutants while a decline in population may indicate a deteriorating habitat and poor water quality. Naturally self-sustaining populations of brook trout can be found in limestone streams and mountain creeks, shaded by large hemlock trees and mountain laurel. Brook trout can also adapt to ponds and lakes, including in-stream beaver ponds. The life cycle of a brook trout begins as an egg, which is laid in the fall, that hatches into a fry in the late winter or early spring. As they grow, young trout or fingerlings will seek shelter in submerged aquatic vegetation near the edge of the stream to avoid predators. Adult brook trout are opportunistic feeders, eating crustaceans such as crayfish, insects, both aquatic and terrestrial, and other small fish. Large brook trout, caught by anglers in Pennsylvania, are mostly hatchery stocked fish. But wild or stocked, brook trout are known for their color with red spots surrounded by bright blue halos on an olive green body. Brook trout also have vermiculations, those squiggly or worm-like markings from head to tail. The brook trout is a true beauty. So the next time that you are out fishing in the rivers and streams of Penn's Woods, look for our state fish, the brook trout. But be sure to wear your waders, because if there are brook trout, then that water is going to be cold. I hope you enjoyed learning about the brook trout and its selection as the official state fish of Pennsylvania. For more, visit our webpage.